Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back. Look at me filming every day like I'm supposed to for the month of September. Let's do a day. Full disclosure, you may see me swatting because there is a single mosquito that I have not been able to smush that keeps flying around my face. So if you see me start to act like a lunatic, that's why. Uh, so hello everyone. Welcome back. Happy Thursday, September 7th. I am off today, so I am sitting outside on the back porch enjoying an iced coffee and chatting with you guys about my plans for the day. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Karen and this is Southern Keto Vore. Uh, on this channel, I just share my journey following a very low carb ketogenic way of life. Uh, I have been doing this now for six years, so I would consider myself relatively versed. However, I'm still human and I messed up along the way. So I share the ups and the downs and today I am in the middle of my September challenge for myself, which is to really get my butt back in gear as far as consistency and relearning and doing what I need to do for my body. So if you are interested in following along, let's do that. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber and viewer, thanks and welcome back. Uh, so today I mentioned that I'm drinking an iced coffee and it was funny because I started thinking about how silly this is. Uh, this is cold. Um, most people drink iced coffee like in the heat of the summer and might switch to hot coffee in the colder months and I just realized how incredibly backwards I am because I do the opposite. Uh, I actually I drink hot black coffee year-round. That is my favorite. Um, but iced coffee I really only do in the fall and the winter. Um, I, I'm not sure why but it's funny because like I don't like my hot coffee sweetened at all. Uh, but I like to do all of the really cool like fall and Christmassy flavors in iced coffee, if that makes sense. So now that we're getting towards fall, even though it's supposed to be like 93 today, uh, you know, I've got pumpkin on the brain. So that's what I have here. This is just regular old cold coffee. I don't buy the pre-made stuff. So this is coffee that I have brewed, that I just refrigerated and poured over some ice. It also has two pumps of Jordan Skinny Syrup in the flavor Pumpkin Caramel and two tablespoons of half and half in here. Now the Jordan Skinny Syrup is something that's totally optional. You can use whatever sweetener you enjoy. I personally really love their flavors uh, and for me, sucralose, which is what they use to sweeten Skinny Syrup, does not affect my blood glucose. It doesn't seem to affect my progress, especially when I'm having like one or two of these a week. So that is what I'm sipping on and it is delightful. Uh, you might hear my house hippo snorting and moving around outside. It's because right now it's not 114 degrees with a heat index, so I figure I'll let them hang out outside before it gets miserable. Mosey, you know that your big old tail is making everything move? Did you know that? Come on, Chunk Muffin. Can you show everybody how beautiful you are? <laughs> Goodness. She's so small. Okay, so this is my land manatee. Her name is Mosey. Um, <laughs> she's smushing me. Mo, what are you doing? I think that she would like climb inside my body if I would let her. Alright. You're a silly dog. <sighs> share with you guys what I'm eating over the course of the day. I will also show really quickly a little clip of what I had for breakfast this morning, uh, which was just a three egg omelet with cheese in the inside and three slices, four slices, four slices of Oscar Mayer bacon. It's from the pre-cooked package. I actually got an entire shipper of that the other day for nearly nothing. So I have 48 boxes <laughs> of very close dated Oscar Mayer uh, pre-cooked bacon. So I'm going to be using that a lot. 
um, because, you know, free is my favorite flavor. So that was breakfast. Um, I'm having this iced coffee now and we will see what the day holds as far as what I'll have later on. So thanks for listening to the rambling and for checking out my big chunky dog. And I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, I also had this zero sugar Chobani pumpkin spice flavored yogurt with a tablespoon of crumbled pecans on top. That was a little kind of midday snack along with two of these egg muffins. Each one is one egg, a tablespoon of cheese, a little bit of ham, a little tiny bit of onion and some fresh parsley, but those were delicious. And then for dinner, I decided to make some fathead dough cheesy bread. Um, I had three of the little segments of this and shared the rest with the rest of the family. All right, hey fam, good morning. It is Friday, TGIF. Uh, I am just pulling up to work and get ready to start my day. Um, thus far, I have had some black coffee. I actually stopped at a brand new gas station that just opened this week uh, to fill up with gas. And when I did, I ran inside and picked up another coffee too. So I kind of topped my coffee cup up off with that words. Yeah, I topped off my coffee. Uh, and it's okay. Theirs is okay. Uh, isn't it funny how you get attached to certain brands of coffee? It is what it is, I guess. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to get ready to head on into work, and I will see you guys whenever I have my first meal. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm feeling good and not hungry and planning on fasting as long as I can. So we'll see how it goes. I will see you whenever that changes. All right, it is officially about 12.30 in the afternoon and I'm going to heat up my lunch that I brought with me. These are some egg bites that I made yesterday and they are amazing. I made six, but I ate two yesterday. <laughs> so uh, here they are. So each one, just kind of show you, they are heart shaped because my mold is heart shaped, but each one is one egg. Uh, and then there's a little bit of ham, uh, like lunch meat that I chopped up, a little bit of onion, a little bit of fresh parsley, um, and then a little, maybe about a tablespoon of shredded cheddar cheese in each one. Um, so I'm going to go and microwave these. Oh no, microwave. Um, heat those up and have them for lunch, um, along with a sugar-free Red Bull. I, uh, my youngin got me that this morning. Um, and I'm not going to turn it down. There are a couple of carbs in sugar-free Red Bull, technically, um, but I love it. So if you are not an energy drink drinker, imbiber, consumer, um, you know, then that's okay. Then I'm going to do me. All right. See you later. All right, guys, dinner was just a sheet pan kind of dinner with some kielbasa, some fresh roasted zucchini, and a couple of peppers. And then I also sauteed some chicken breast uh, in some butter and then made almost like a sauce with a little bit of Parmesan cheese and a little half and half and had that with it. And it was all tasty.